Is your organization traditional or innovative? Is one better than the other? It's actually indifferent. Um, to be honest, it depends on what your culture is about, what your families or your organization or your team members, how, how do they acclimate and integrate with your culture? So there's good and bad to both. There's advantages and disadvantages to both, but really it comes down to what are your goals as an organization? Uh, when it comes to schools in particular or businesses in particular, you need to look at some questions that will help you determine if you should implement certain technologies that will help your culture and your team and your families or not do it because, hey, they're not going to acclimate well to it. Um, the, the quiz we have in place helps you determine what you are and then the action steps afterward would be, hey, should we implement this technology? Should we implement these new processes to help streamline and help our families in their initiatives, whether it's fundraising goals, whether it's a, you know, a redesign of some type of, you know, venue for your campus, or it could be something more simple, like we just want to look at our curricula and in a sense adapt to our families and what they're going to excel at. Um, one of the things that I always like to say with this survey, it helps you kind of get a, a baseline of where are you. Then you can make decisions. It's going to ask you things like, let me see here, one is, um, you know, linear workflows would be more traditional, uh, agile sprints would be more innovative. Is there wrong or right, either one? No, actually in some processes you really need to have linear. You have to have, hey, this needs to be done first before we can teach this. Math and subtraction need to be taught first before we can te multiplicate, teach multiplication division. That's an obvious one. Um, but in some cases, agile could be, hey, we're gonna do this project-based learning so they can do this to achieve these SLOs. So it depends on your culture and how you're, you're set up and also your families. But I would say that you always wanna kinda look at how this process, if we implement this process, how will it affect our families or our, our team if it's an organization structure? And is it going to be a positive impact or is it going to drive, drive everyone crazy? Um, there's no right or wrong to be in a traditional organization or an innovative organization. I'm about efficiencies and I think that if you're going to implement something, is it going to make you all more efficient or is it going to make you, it's going to slow down and muck things up. And that's how you can determine, hey, should we implement this or should we wait and, and do it, the, you know, do it a more um, focused approach where we're going to onboard families or team members slower in order for them to have a success. All right. Thanks so much. Make sure you take, out, take that quiz, get that baseline of where are you so you can move forward with decisions. Have a good one.